I've always been a religious man. As prison caretaker doing duty in the stench-filled underground cells, I've gotten a glimpse of many a prisoner's own faith, or lack of it. Please, no! I don't want to die! Please, I don't judge them. No! I too would fear the mauling beasts. And death. But what I saw today in a young woman and her companions. Such courage I have never seen before. No, never. Joy to see you all. Nothing could keep us away. It is indeed our blessing. We are all gathered. You were careful, my friend. Yes, we were not followed. Good. Then let us begin. My dear friends, what blessings God gives us, allowing us to meet yet again, to pray, to sing. <laughs> That's right, little one. To sing to encourage one another and to strengthen each other in Christ. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Lift up your heart. We will lift them up to the Lord. Gods of my forefathers, may I prosper at the generosity of your hands. I honor you and tremble at your presence. Watch over me, spare me misfortune. Pudence! Can a man not petition the gods? Salve! Oh, what a stench! How can you stand the smell of this place? I apologize, the accommodations are not to your pleasing, Flavius. What now? News from Rome. The Emperor has issued a decree banning new converts to that sect. Christians. Christians? Minerva deliver us. Ah, still calling on the gods, I see. You know what they say about them? Unfaithful to the gods. Unbelievers. They'll bring the wrath of the gods upon us. We shall be doomed. Back to your cell. And you keep insulting the gods, and you will be the one doomed, you <laughs> infidel. You and your clay gods. This is all the god I need. Rome. In any case, Make room for some new prisoners. We ride to arrest them now. Now? Now, Pudens! The Emperor wastes no time in ridding the Empire of these dangerous elements. But how can this be? Are you certain, Lucius? I have just gotten word. Where is my chariot? She will be all right. If I get there in time. My chariot, now! I am certain this is all a mistake. You know good and well that our daughter has no taste for such things. Perpetua was not brought up that way. I shall have her slaves whipped to the bone for getting her involved with those criminals, those Christians! I'm Lucius Vibia. And? And this is my daughter and grandson. This is all a terrible mistake, I am certain. It's these slaves. They are to blame. 
Is this the way you take care of my daughter? Swine? I spent Father, please. You... Stop! Father! Do you have any idea what they have gotten you into, Perpetua? She is but a slave. She is my sister. Your... what? Are you mad? Sir, I would that you take up this matter later. For now, I will fulfill my duty. Take them! No! You cannot! Perpetua, this is a mistake. Tell him, Perpetua! And she will have the opportunity to tell the proconsul, like everyone else. But the child... Surely the prison is no place for him? Hmm. That's true. So take it with you. Oh, my baby! No! But... Get moving! Perpetua! Tell them! Tell them you're not one of them! Perpetua! I shall see to your release, my daughter! I shall see to your release! She must join us. What? How could this be? She went in with their lot. Uh, isn't that her slave? I think I'm going to vomit. Fortunata! Cassia! Uh, keep on! Quickly, before anyone thinks we know her. Go! Go! Bishop! Courage! Be strong, my friends. We are gathered. We pray for you. Pray that we may endure! Move along! The believers pray for us. Let us bear this as Jesus did, bravely. No, no, no! In there! Please! Oh. Please do not harm her! Quiet! <laughs> Sir, please! She is with child! Enough! Felicity! She is with child! What's to become of us? What's to become of us? We pray your protection on our brothers and sisters in prison. Grant them courage and strength. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Get on with you. Where are you taking us? Out! How much time are we allowed? How much money do you have? There. Get on with it then. I'll tell you when your time is up. Bishop! Tertius! Oh, Tertius, what joy! Is it really you? Yes, my friends. Bishop, what blessing! But how did you... Alas, everyone has his price. <laughs> <laughs> Besides... The Emperor is after new followers of Christ such as you. He wishes to make an example out of you, to discourage others. But tell me, how are you? Were you not five? Secondulus, they... He is dead. Then he is with the Lord, and we must draw faith and strength from his example. For you must endure. But come now. We have nourishment for you, and we haven't much time. Cheese? Milk? Oh, I never thought I would see this again. The believers are gathered. <laughs> they pray for you constantly. Your suffering is ours. Then so must our joy be yours. For apart from the grief of our brother's death, the Lord has been gracious to us even in our prison and bestows upon us peace that can only be from his hand. And speaking of joy... Mother! Perpetua. My dear mother, dear brother, and my son, my precious little one. They say the child can remain with you. Oh, praise and thanks for all God's goodness. If my saviour does not but spoil me, my prison has become my palace. 
He hungers, daughter. And you also need nourishment. How do you fare, sister? It is difficult, Marcus. But the Lord, he has helped us hour by hour. And you? I've met with the bishop and the others. We've had to be careful. I'm advised to keep the faith secret for now, as the law prohibits new believers. Oh, Perpetua, how I pray, how I wish... Take this, but keep it hidden. It belonged to Secondulus, martyred the night we were arrested. Let this remind you of the Lord's strength, brother. My dear. Thank you, mother. And father? Hurry it up! Your father is beside himself with worry, my child. You do not belong here with these people. He is doing all he can to free you. He is seeking the help of the proconsul. I regret your daughter's misfortune, but ignorance of the law excuses no I, one. I am aware, proconsul, but surely... And I find it difficult to believe that your daughter had no knowledge of the law. These Christians worshipping their Christ above the Emperor simply must be punished. It is mercy I beg for. Unfortunately, mercy is abundant in the Empire. Your daughter has no doubt brought you great embarrassment and as a result, possibly the loss of business. I, on the other hand, do not wish or need any embarrassment reflected on my promise. What can I do? Fortunately, there is a way out. Your daughter and her uh, companions will have the honor of coming before me for a public trial. If she burns incense to the gods in honor of our divine emperor, denies this Christ, we are content, she is content, and more importantly, Rome is content. It's as simple as that. Now, I am busy. Vibia, I am not unreasonable. You are an intelligent man. Use something that is dear to your daughter. Something that will bring her to her senses. Perpetua? Yes? I am wondering. It was so good to see the bishop today, however short the time was, and it makes me question, shall we be delivered from this prison? I gather the Lord knows. Then let us ask him. <laughs> A god that talks to mortals? Our Lord did say, ask and it will be given to you. Then please make sure he knows visiting hours are in the morning only. <laughs> I have no doubt the Lord Jesus will answer our request and guide us through this trial. Let us pray and ask him plainly. Climb up, Perpetua. But be careful and see that the wicked serpent doesn't bite you. Jesus Christ, I rebuke it! <laughs> Welcome, Perpetua. My Lord. Drink. It is a taste of sweet things to come. Are you all right? You were staring. Jesus spoke to me through a dream. <coughs> we shall be delivered. Well, he got that wrong. And shall join the Lord as martyrs. Then we shall soon be with our Lord. We must speak to the believers and find our baby a good mother. And a good father. God will take care of our child. So, you really do believe this god of yours has spoken? Yes, Pudence. 
He has. And you will die. The one true God calls us, Pudens. <laughs> Perpetua! <sighs> By the gods, announce yourself! Bring the child and come with me. Perpetua, sister! Father! I beg of you, my daughter. Father? If you have any love for me at all, if I have not with my own hands provided for you and preferred you above all my children, Father. do not bring this shame on us. Think about your brother. Your mother. And if not us, then please think about your son. But father... What is this? What have these people done to you? They have done nothing. Then tell me quickly, for a thousand thoughts raised through my head and... I feel about to die. You are killing me, Perpetua. Speak! I am a Christian, father. I have found... No, you are not. I am a Christian, father. I have found in Christ the God who lives, not the clay and marble ones we have so often worshipped, but the living God that comes to live in our hearts. Silence! <laughs> we can get you out of this predicament. We shall go to the proconsul. What? I... He has promised me to free you. If you only recant, renounce this silly notion. I will not. I did not raise you to end up in this. I cannot. You will. Yes. Father, do you see that? What? I... What is it, Father? It, it is a vase. I, I don't... Can it be called by any other name than that which it is? It, it, it is a vase. Neither can I be anything other than what I am. I am a Christian. Then come with me. No! Come with me! Wait! I shall have the child. No! The child! Fight. On with no. you! If you have any love for your son, you will turn from this foolishness. It is your choice. Otherwise, Mama, this ridiculous superstition shall be the end of me, your mother, your family, your son. <laughs> You will kill us all along with you, Perpetua. You and your God will kill us all. <sighs> Bishop? Bishop? I have brought you some nourishment. You've not touched food in days. Thank you, Tertius. I cannot get our brothers and sisters in prison out of my mind. We have prayed, Bishop. Yes. We have prayed. And I have made a decision. You are a good leader, Tertius. You have kept the believers strong in my absence, as I visited others. You must carry on. Bishop? Didn't our Lord say, greater love has no man than this? that a man lay down his life for his friends. But surely... Tertius, our friends are in prison. I am certain this ordeal cannot be easy for them, and I believe God wants me to stand with them in their hour of need, as well as in the greater tests that are sure to befall them. I... understand. Um, it is I, I, Pudens, once again. You, uh, <clears throat> you know me. I speak, uh, petition you often. Um, I was wondering, uh, being I am so faithful to you, uh, might you have anything to say to me? The Christians, they say their God speaks, and surely, well, I, 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 I do not mean to compare. I, uh... I beg of you, please, speak. Pudence. Oh, 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 oh you, 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 your, your greatness. I, I, I beg your pardon. I, Pudence. Uh, yes, 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 speak, oh mighty one. 
You are. Yes, yes, I am listening. You are. I am an idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Nothing that matters to you, you dickheaded infidel. May the gods strike you with boils. What do you want? <laughs> the prisoners. <laughs> the proconsul. <laughs> he wants them. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I warn you. Not a word to anyone about this. Oh, speak. Oh, anything. Oh, I am your most faithful. Oh, please. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Father? My son? My daughter. How is he? He is well, my lady. And what's this? They are married, Proconsul. She is with child. I am not blind, soldier. Now, let's get this nonsense over with. Think carefully, my daughter. I have spoken with the Proconsul. You may come back home with me today. You will have your son back in your arms. All the comforts I can give you. You can return, my dearest. And it will be like none of this has happened. Just offer a pinch of incense. By the gods, if you people aren't stubborn. I will not. Take her away. One less slave. No, a baby makes two. I take it the husband will want the same fate. It is the living God that we serve. Make that free, less slaves in Carthage. Then you shall go to your living God as a dead man. Bring the next one. It's all very simple, really, my dear. In fact, you don't even have to mean it. Just do it so that fool of a priest sees you. All it takes is just one little pinch of incense. I cannot. I will not burn incense to a false god. Libya Perpetua. I... I must go. Perpetua. Remember, it is of no consequence. Only a pinch of incense. You shall be home with me, with us. What will it matter to your god anyway? Only a pinch. Only a pinch! Yo! Perpetua! I am a Christian! Jesus Christ is Lord! No! Perpetua! Perform the sacrifice! Have pity on your baby! I will not! It is a living God we serve! Christ Jesus! Perpetua! Do you not care for your father? Your own son? Offer the sacrifice for the welfare of the Emperor! For the sake of your family, Perpetua, offer the sacrifice you must! Strike him! Ah! Father! Do it! I will not! Are you a Christian? I am. Your own mouth condemns you. I love you, Father. And you shall be thrown to the wild beasts! I love you, my son. Take them away! Perpetua! You shall see us no more. You shall see us no more! Bishop! And who is this? What do you want? I too am a Christian. Their bishop. I am with them. Then die with them, you scum! One more for the beasts. Bishop, but why? God calls me to join you, sister, all of you, for he wishes to give you some comfort. Now, let us strengthen each other to the end. Felicity. Husband, the baby is his time. I cannot sleep. I shall pray for you then, dear Pudence. 
Huh. I've already said my own prayers, thank you very much. Oh, by the gods, if I'm not the one they probably hear from the most. No sooner is Apollo raising the sun than Pudens is already awake and asking for something. <laughs> you all sleep so soundly. I Tell me, are you not afraid? Of pain, perhaps, but not of death. How... how is that? Jesus has conquered death for us. He is with us here. He will be with us in the arena. His love keeps us, and we long to be with him. I do not understand a god I cannot fear. How do you stand it, this cell, losing your son? Christ promises us eternal life, Pudence. As for this prison, it may keep our bodies, but not our souls. Uh, I shall try to sleep a little longer. I wonder, dear Pudence, my son, I want him to know I had to do this. I want him to know I loved him. Will you continue my journal after I am taken away? I... I want no part in this. But I shall ponder it. And what you tell me about your god. I shall ponder it. I shall prevail. Oh, my sweet, sweet saviour. Oh, thank you. Perpetua. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I... I have had a most amazing dream. <gasps> what? As did I. Both of you. Dreams? What is it? But Perpetua, you look so radiant. <gasps> God has been speaking to me, sister. He is so near to us and oh, <laughs> the dream was most wonderful. As was mine. Well then, do not keep us waiting. What has God shown you? Our souls had left our bodies and we were soaring into the air, accompanied by four magnificent angels. Do they take us now? Lord be with us. Shh. I... I have arranged one last comfort for you. Tertius, Bishop, dear brothers. May God bless you, dear Pudens, for such kindness. Go on now. Your friends await you. Thus far, I have written this account, till the day before the games. But the deed of the games themselves shall be written by the hand of another. And so the day finally came when Perpetua and her friends were led into the arena. The crowd was eager for some good entertainment. But I, I was unprepared for the sadness that overtook me. For though I had seen a hundred deaths yet, I had now no doubt that these five were innocent of any crime. And their sincerity and devotion to God had slowly penetrated my own soul. Behold the Christians. Refusing to sacrifice to the gods, they become a sacrifice themselves. <laughs> and it seemed to me that if they trembled, it was for joy and not for fear. Proconsul! Your eminence! You have judged us 
And now, may God judge you! Silence! You shall regret your words, Christian. Flog them! And they were flogged before the line of gladiators. And I, I standing near, was amazed to hear them thank their Lord because they shared in his sufferings. And then... Bring in the beasts! was witness to their prayers many times before and heard them speak of God's assurances. The bishop, he was very fearful of bears and so had received a promise from God. I trust in you, Lord, that it will be even as you have showed me. I will not die by the bear, not by the bear but by the leopard! The boar! Bring out the boar! Soon thereafter... The leopard! Lord! I come to you! Perpetua and Felicity, how my heart ached for them. They faced a mad cow which tossed and trampled them. The Perpetua didn't seem to notice. Are we to be thrown to that wild beast? But Perpetua... You have already been thrown to it. What are you saying? I have not. You have, Perpetua. You have been thrown to the wild beast. But I have felt nothing. I have felt nothing. Finally, tired of the spectacle, the crowd called for them to be put to death by sword. And to the surprise of all, She recants. I will not go to my lord as if I am grieving. What? She's not afraid. And she looked radiant. And thus, one by one, they died by the edge of the sword. Testament, dear Perpetua, and mine as well. The authorities concluded that the spectacle of death had served to discourage new Christian believers. But how wrong they were. The courage of Perpetua, the bishop, Felicity, Revocatus and Saturnius only served as seed to increase the believers. And many people came to faith in Jesus, as I have done. And somehow I know that at the moment of death, it was not the empire that was rid of Perpetua and her companions, but rather that they were free from the Empire. And it was all at once that I recalled the Bishop's dream as he recounted it to Perpetua and the others a few days before their death. I had a dream. We were accompanied by four large angels. We had left our flesh and as we passed the world's edge, there before was a great and wondrous light. And one of the angels said, Come and salute the Lord.
After her death, Perpetua's story was told from one generation to the next, and her account, written in her own hand, was read every year on the anniversary of her martyrdom. Considered one of the earliest known pieces of writing by a Christian woman, it is testimony to her desire to make Christ known even after her death. Perpetua, Felicity, Revocatus, Saturninus, Secundulus, and the bishops' devotion to God and their courage in the face of so much humiliation, hardship, and mockery impacted the lives of many and added to the growing church of their day. Perpetua and Felicity were declared saints and are mentioned in the canon of the Mass. They are patron saints of martyrs. Today, their story remains a convicting testimony to Christians everywhere, and their feast day is March the 7th. Oh, bravest and happiest martyrs, you were called and chosen for the glory and our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to be strong in our faith. <laughs>